Irish songs, I think they're always very acceptable and, and well liked even to this day. Uh, we start off with a nice little number called I Feel the Flute is Ball. Good job, I have somebody here to, to remind me of these things. Have you heard of Bill the Flute from the town of Valley of the Poets? Owen Harvey came to back the mountain top. He sent an invitation to his favorite one and all as to how to break their company and eat me at the ball. When writing out, he was careful to suggest to them if they found a hat to his convenience to the door, the more they put in whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for Batman the poet. I went to the on the and the jiggle on the jiggle on, hopping in the middle like a hopping on the jiggle on. Up, down, a hand around, across to the wall. Oh, that we the gaiety of the ball. There was Mr. Dennis Doherty, who kept her running dog. There was little Cody Patty from the Tyrrell on the dog. Boys of Mary Farley, girls of Mary Art, and the beautiful strings in the private Aston car. Along with them came the belt to win the county. Little Mickey Mulligan was also to the fore. There was Rose, Suzanne, Margaret, the Rapper King, the Flower of Arthur Gullion, and the Bright and the Royal Wind. And the Blue and the Gentle and the Middle Lock, hopping in the middle like a man on the Middle Lock. Down the hand around the cross and through the wall. Oh, how can we be gay and be a beautiful Then little Mickey Mulligan got up and showed him how. The bells were in the town for he got up and took the bell. Oh, what dance you off your legs, you see, as sure as you were born. If you'd only make the pipe or blade, the hair was in the corn. Bill played up to the best of his ability. The ladies and the gentlemen began to do the share. They then make Tis you that has agility. Be gone, Mrs. Cafferty, you're left and like a heroine. And the jiggle on the middle of the middle like a heroine on the middle of the Down the hand around and walking through the wall. Oh, hadn't we the gaiety and feel the song is about unrequited love, as you might say, it's called Little Bridge of Flynn. I have a nice lady house and the flower to a grass. I have a plant garden living by the door. I have a shelter for the hens and a stable for the ass. What could a man want more? I don't know, maybe so. Oh, a bachelor is easy and be free. Well, I've lots to look after and I'm living all alone. And I've no one to look after me. Now, me father often tells me I should go and have a try. To get a girl who has a bit of land. And I know the way he says it, sure, to someone in his eye. And my mother has the whole thing planned. Will they go? I don't know. Oh, but modified and greatly to agree. But there's little Bridget Flynn, sure, tis her and not to win. But she never has an eye for me. Now there's a little lady who is worth the way to go. And that's a decent dowry, don't you see? And I may to go and ask her just as soon as I get bold. If she come and have an eye for me. Will she go? I don't know. Oh, I'd love to have her sitting on me knee. And I sing like a thrush on a hawthorn bush. If she come and have an eye. write songs about the situations of people you've met all over the country. But this uh, this one particular one is based, if you like, on the dowry system. There was a farmer who had two daughters. One was a smashing looking lassie. The other, I'm afraid, 
the fella said the cupboard was locked when she came to the good looks department. So anyway, he wanted to marry them off as yeah, he had no bother with one, but he said what he'd do is he'd, uh, he'd give a, a, a fine bait with the other girl. It was called MacBreen's Heifer. Oh, MacBreen had two daughters, and each one in turn was offered in marriage to James E. O'Gordon. Well, now Kitty was pretty, but Jane she was plain. And to make up the dipper, my green would explain. He'd give the best heifer he had in the land, as a sort of a bonus that Jane understand. How the kitty would charm the birds of the bush, and sure that left the lads in a horrid long plush. Oh, there's no denying kitty was remarkably pretty. I can't say the same about Jane. Whether there's a difference in the price of a heifer between the pretty and the plain. Now entirely bothered was James E. O'Gordon. He decided to give the schoolmaster a turn. Says he to a kid, he is very good fun. Still a heifer's a heifer when all said and done. A girl she might lose a good looks anyhow. And a heifer could turn to an elegant cow. Ah, but still there's no price for the shoddy of mine And sure Jane had a face that the devil designed <laughs> Now the schoolmaster said with a great deal of sense We'd reduce the two girls to shillings and pence Had the price of a heifer and Jane I'd be bound She'd come out at the top be a couple of pounds But still I'm forgetting that down in Glengall Sure the stock there is fetching just nothing at all so a gentle way to the end of the year When girls might be cheaper and stock might be dear Ah, uh, but when he came for Kitty She was married to my pity McGee had appropriated Jane So whether there's a difference in the price of a heifer Was a thing that he never could explain Thank you very much. When Percy French uh, first graduated as uh, an engineer, he went to cabin. <coughs> and uh, he used to have a fellow drive around when he was going on his various uh, visitations to sites and stuff like that. And he left cabin and he became very famous as an entertainer all over the world. But he loved Ireland most of all, but he came back to cabin anyway to do a show. And he asked for this man who used to drive him around. And to his sadness and great loss, because they were wonderful friends, he heard that this man had actually emigrated. And the man's name was Paddy Riley, and he came from a little place called Paddy James Duff. So, the Garden of Eden has vanished, they say, but I know Still whisper. 
stand outside around the windows and the door waiting for him to come so at least they could hear him come to the window through the door. One night anyway they waited in vain he didn't show up because the poor little West Fairway anyway, broke down on the way. So anyway he sued the company for a loss of earnings of 10 quid which probably wasn't bad money around 1895 and they decided that, oh he wrote the song then later and they decided, they thought they might sue for defamation and they figured well look if that man goes into court and we go into court we know who's going to come out the worst of this so anyway they paid up and look happy and this is um, are you right there Michael? Now I'm not too sure about this song so I'm going to refer to the workshop manual I hope you won't mind Heard of Columbus a sailing across the Atlantic Sea, but he never tried to go raven from Ennis way down to Kilty. You run for the train in the morning, the excursion train's leaving at eight. You're there when the clock gives a warning, but there for an hour you'll wait. And as you sit and curse your luck, the train backs down into a truck. Are you right there, Michael? Are you right? Do you think that we'll be there before the night? Oh, it all depends on what you say for certain. Good night now, Michael. So, thank you very much for the good rescue job there. Oh, they find out where the engine is hiding. And it drives you to sweep for a pin. So the guard put her down by the side. There's a good who can rush coming in. Perhaps it gets here in two hours. Perhaps it breaks down the way. If it does, to the guard be the powers. We're here for the rest of the day. And as you sit and burst your luck, the train backs down into a truck. Are you right there, Michael? Are you right? Have you got the person there for Mrs. White? Oh, you haven't? Oh, we got it. Say it's coming down tomorrow at midnight. Now, Michael's all night. On the hinge, the sea shines like a jewel. With joy, you are ready to shout. When the stoker cries out, there's no fuel. And the fire is they totally out. Hand me up that bit of a log there, I soon have you out of a fix. There's a fine clap of turf on the bog there, and the rest can go gathering sticks. And as you're breaking bits of trees, you hear some wise remarks like these. Are you right there, Martha? Are you right? Do you think that you will get the bar to light? Oh, and now where you require for the turf, it might be drier and it might now bite the soul of mine. Oh, the keys, you'll never get near it. You're in luck if the train brings you back. For the permanent way is so queer it spends most of its time off the track. Uphill the old engine is climbing, while the passengers push with the will. You're in luck when you reach and it's diamond. For all the way home is downhill And as you're wobbling through the dark You hear the guards sing this remark Are you 
Thank you.